Well, good evening and welcome to Health and Wellness Wednesday. I just want to say thank you so very much for taking time this evening to come and join us. I am very proud to be able to uh, tell you that we are going to have Dr. Jenny Wilkins back with us again for a wonderful evening, an informative opportunity to learn about our health and wellness from the aspect of mind, our bodies, and our soul. And so we're going to be talking with Dr. Jenny. She's going to be joining us uh, very shortly here. What I wanted to do uh, was just uh, tell you a little bit about her. Um, she is a local a naturopath doctor right here in Sarasota, Florida, by the way. Uh, she has a, a local business, Age Vital, that's a health and wellness, as well as a research center, and uh, very dynamic. I go there myself. I She is my doctor, and she's helping me to get healthy. She's uh, very, very dynamic. Yeah, let me just, uh, I'm looking here at some notes. I want to read this because I don't have it all memorized. But she is an expert in her field. Um, she's also a clinical research associate. Uh, she has the uh, age vital right here in town. And she recently was selected as the top naturopath doctor of the year uh, in reference to stem cell and cannabinoid therapy uh, by the International Association of Top Professionals. And she was chosen that because of her outstanding leadership and the commitment to her profession. Uh, she has over two decades of professional experience in the healthcare industry. She's accomplished professional and certainly an expert in her field. Dr. Jim Jenny demonstrates uh, success on a daily basis. Um, she's a wellness expert and educator, and doctors bring her in to educate them on natural remedies. And she has lectured uh, literally globally with respect to her practice. And you know, she's a she's a regular person too. She's a mom. She has four kids, uh, as well as she is a celebrity right here in town. Um, she's a public speaker, and she's been on um, multiple uh, TV shows as well as Lifetime, ABC, NBC, CBS, all of them. And I just get to learn and grow every time. Uh, I get to talk to her, and and I am blessed. And as a matter of fact, you know, we're collaborating with uh, Dr. Jenny, and and I'm just so so blessed to have that. Now we have her products actually in our store, our e-commerce store, and so we have some immune boosting products there. And uh, feel free to go and check out our website. We do have um, several products up there, and it's all about taking care of our health. And if we take care of our health. And our wellness, and and our mind, and our and our bodies, and our soul from a spiritual aspect, it makes for a better life. And the better that we take care of ourselves, the better we're going to be for everybody else around us. Now, these days, it it is very difficult for a lot of us. We're going through this social distancing. Although I turn that into a positive, I turn that into the absolute positive because. Even though we have some uh, social, it's called social distancing, and yet it seems like people are coming closer. It is an opportunity for us to to have more special time with our families, to get the tasks done that we hadn't been doing, and uh, as well to start thinking out of the box. Some of us might not have their job anymore. Now, I, I got to say, I am blessed that we're able to still be working. I mean, we're not as busy as we used to be. But it is the time to start thinking and getting dynamic. And what I'd like you to do, I know that I did get a message from her. We're still waiting for her to come into the studio here so I can bring her in on this interview. And um, I know that she's going to be here. She's just getting in front of a computer right now. That's the message I got a few, mo a few moments ago. Um, but what I'd like you to do is start thinking about some questions, okay? We're going to take some of your questions. I'd love for you to uh, ask Dr. Jenny a question. We'll be looking at the comments in just a moment here, and we'll ask her those questions for you. And I'm going to look forward to that because the last couple times that we've had her on there, I have learned so much. It's just like play, stop, rewind, record, play. Stop. 
write some notes. It, there's so much information. Uh, I see Dr. Jenny here, but she doesn't, the device is not connected. I, I'm not sure what's happening with her, but she's going to be with us in just one moment here. Um, typical technical errors. That, <laughs> that seems to be prevalent. I, I was watching some videos earlier today, and, and, and that's what we were experiencing was, you know, audio. It always seems to be something. That's okay. That's okay. Now I'm going to go ahead. Uh, let's take a look at some of the comments here. I see that uh, Randy is with us. He's saying hello. Dr. Jenny will be here. I see her here. I don't know why it says device is not connected, but we'll get it figured out. She'll be here with us. Just, just be patient. Um, NGP. Let me just show NGP. NGP, thank you so very much for joining us. We have Rachel Johnson and Peggy Bro. Thank you so very much. And, of course, Mona Haves, such an awesome gal. She's so, so dynamic. I'm, I'm really getting to know her. It, it, it's pretty pretty awesome. Um, we also have Denise Pendexter, and she's over on the East Coast. And I just want to thank everybody that's taken time to come and join us this morning. Oh, Evan Tisman. I tell you what, Evan Tisman, thank you so very much for joining us. I hope you're still with us. Um, Hopefully, shortly, Dr. Jenny will be here. I'm just saying, device not connected. I'm not sure your guest will need to connect their microcam. Let me just send her a message. I see that. Okay. Uh, allow mic and cam. We're getting her here. Don't worry. We'll get it. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I see that. Um, yes, you can do it from the phone. Yes, from the phone. So I'm not sure she's having difficulties, I guess, with her computer tonight. But I want to talk about uh, just for a moment quickly, Evan Tinsman. I know him from uh, a group that I'm involved with, Evan Carmichael, and he is a super dynamic guy. Now, he's going to be on our Get to Know uh, broadcast. And, and the reason why, why we watch these videos is because we like to get to know people that are making a positive impact in our uh, communities. And Evan Tinsman, as well as Dr. Jenny, are those kinds of people. And that's what I like to do is bring people that are making a positive impact in our communities. Evan's going to be with us soon. I'm really looking forward to that. That is going to be so awesome. Uh, he's got a great story, and I'm looking forward to talking about that. And Rosie Rachel Crafts. Welcome, Rosie. We appreciate you. We know that that is Rachel Johnson, and she loves doing crafts, and we appreciate her. She also helps us, the LWN Foundation, to be able to um, take care of our notes and stuff like that. She does some administrative stuff. She administrates our group. By the way, we have a Facebook group, the Life Begins When You Start Living group. Uh, inspire people who inspire others. And that's kind of what we're doing here is, is that we're going to inspire you. I'm going to ask you again. Oh, please share this video out. Yeah. Share it to your friends. Share it to the groups. Uh, it's going to be some exceptional information here. As soon as we can get her, send the link from the phone. Um, okay. Uh, I sent her. It's on her messenger. We'll get her. <laughs> I think she's used to getting in front of a camera and turn the camera on on the studio, right? That's what she's done. So um, she's coming. Bear with me, folks. <laughs> We're going to be talking about a lot of stuff. I asked you to put some questions in, in the comments. Okay, I do want to see your, your questions for Dr. Jenny. I'm glad that you're still here with us, uh, uh, Evan Car um I was going to say Evan Carmine, Evan Tinsman. He's a really awesome guy. Uh, we're going to try and get him on next week, as a matter of fact. He's super great. Really appreciate him. Um, Mona's saying that she shared the videos. Amazing group. Awesome. Come on, Dr. Jenny. Come on. <laughs> She's coming. All right. So I, I do want to talk. I guess I'll just talk for a minute. Why, why not? Um, so it is health and wellness wednesday what i try and do on health and wellness wednesdays and if you didn't see the video this morning uh, i was talking about some uh the pillars of change and um i see that dr jenny is on she's got her phone going she's here but we just need to get her in the studio 
I'm certain that I sent it. So let me just do this. Invite. Copy the clipboard. Hang with me, everybody. Um, boy, <laughs> I don't even have that going. So it's going to be hard. Let me just see. I'm sorry. I really apologize for this, but it just seems like sometimes things happen, but we'll bear through it. She's on her phone. It's on your messenger, Dr. Jenny. So if you go to the Facebook messenger, I had sent the link there when I was setting this up. And I can't really I can share my screen, but I don't even have the others up. So can I invite you as a co-host for my phone? Um, now, that's a darn good question, Dr. Jenny. I sent the link on your messenger. So if you look in messenger, let's see. Where is it? Then you should be able to connect that. Yeah, it's sitting. Well, oh. I see the which messenger is it going to be? I must have sent that actually to your um, profile page, not your personal page, your other messenger, apparently. I mean, because I am not seeing it right here. I thought for sure that I'd sent it. Well, folks, I tell you what, bear with me. Let me just uh, attempt to um, see what I can do here. Because um, I, I don't, hello. Hello, Dr. Jenny. Um, she's coming. <laughs> Let me just do this. Um, hopefully, I'm still going to go. I'm just going to be one second here. Let me. Pull this up and may cause issues for me. Um, shoot, act a lack. Don't like it when this kind of stuff happens, but it does. So as soon as I can just send her, make sure that I've sent it to her. Facebook, please. And this may cause issues as well. The second that you fire up. Facebook while you're doing this. Okay. Golly, folks. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Gracious gosh. Facebook. Okay. Okay. Log in. Hopefully, this will not mess it up. I don't even know if I'm still going. I'm still going. Good. I'm over here trying to open Facebook so that I can send her this link I just did. Um, let's do this. All righty. Let's hope that this is going to work for me. Um, I apologize, folks. But... If it isn't something, it's going to be something else. So let me just send it right now. Um, okay, new message. Come on. Well, yeah. It's taking a moment here. Bear with me. So get your questions ready because we're going to get her as soon as Facebook can load up here for me. Um, I will have it. And... This wouldn't be the typical way that I like to do a broadcast, but nonetheless, it, it is, and it's going to take forever, it seems like. So, yeah, it's just spinning. It tells me, don't do it. <laughs> don't have it open when I'm doing the stream yard. So I did. So it's just spinning around in space. And so there's just no really good way I can do this. Um, oh, there she is. Oh, beautiful. Okay. For those that bared with us, <laughs> went through my silly deal. I see the private chat now, too. All right. Let's bring her in. Without further ado, <laughs> let's introduce Dr. Jenny. Are you ready? <laughs> there Hello. I am. Can you hear me? I can hear you. 
Oh my goodness. I rushed home. <laughs> okay. I don't but I've been bumbling around here. I'm trying to get Facebook to work so I can send you. I thought I sent that link to you, but I don't know. Welcome. No, no, okay. See me. Yes, I'm here. Okay. I'm sorry for my cluster back there. <laughs> you are very big. Okay, so we still have your 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 thing. We knew that you were there. <laughs> yes, I kept going from Facebook, and I rushed home, and then now I'm here in my kitchen. Okay. In your kitchen. Oh God. <laughs> All right. Up in the background. Okay. Wonderful. Well, we do appreciate the fact that you that you're joining us. I I really really. I'm honored, and and I told all the folks that you, you're so dynamic in what you're doing, and 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 you really care. I I put in the description about how uh, you have a great. I didn't call it a bedside manner, but you you know you do this with compassion, and mm. you do this with um, understanding and patience. And so we're going to talk a little bit tonight. We're going to try and help these folks. We've asked them for some questions, and um, I, you know. Invite you asked me if I can invite you as a co-host, and I don't even know. Once I got this thing rolling like this, it's like I don't know exactly how to run it. I just muddle my way through this until someday I might get better. So uh, Mona does say hello. All right. So um, we've got lots of people that were here. Hopefully they'll come back. Hi, Mona. Over there. <laughs> it's all good. <laughs> it's all good because that's the beauty of replay. They can watch it later. Yeah. Okay. Right. Okay. <laughs> All right, without further ado, I am going to ask a question. How's that? All right, and we are going to get some of these questions. If you've got a question for Dr. Jenner, please do put it in the comments, and then we might ask your question. Um, we'll try and get them as many of those questions as we possibly can. All right, half one moment. Welcome to Health and Wellness oh, Wednesday. All right, yeah. and this is uh, the opportunity to meet someone that's super dynamic. This is Dr. Jenny Wilkins. Um, <laughs> Dr. Jenny, I guess I'm going to ask you right off the bat here. We're, I'm going to get serious about this. I'm going to ask you about mm -hmm. there's been a lot of numbers reported about deaths with this coronavirus. Okay. And I'm going to jump into the hard stuff right first. So we're hearing all these numbers about the coronavirus and people that are dying. So I want to know what your take is on this. Is Are these numbers that you think that we can trust? Oh, my goodness. Well, <laughs> are, are they inflated or are, are, are they just someone dies and or, you know, I mean, I'm hearing today, let's say, oh, the suicide rates up and things like mm -hmm. that. And I said, well, unless they left a note, how would you know that that's coronavirus that killed them? <laughs> you know? right. I mean, come on. Right. Well, right? and it is. That's the, that's the mis, uh, misinformation that's going out right now, because as of like, April 22nd, that's uh, today, correct? April 22nd. Mm -hmm. There were yeah. uh, 21,050 deaths, um, I believe it was, in the United States, correct? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, they posted it. Actually, let me go and look look it up because I was looking at it this morning. Um, and you can go straight to the CDC website, cdc.gov, and look right. at the information that they're giving to the consumers because you have the, the percentages of death um, with pneumonia, in COVID and in the percentages of, because uh, pneumonia is a secondary infection that comes from yes. it. And that's what people aren't understanding either. It's not the COVID right. yeah. that's killing people. It's the side effects from the COVID. So right. it was actually, if someone already had pneumonia and they got COVID, it wasn't the COVID that killed them. It just it yeah. amplified the yeah. COVID, uh, amplified the pneumonia. Or if someone has diabetes and got COVID, it's not the COVID that killed them. It was a the diabetes. They were already sick before they got it. So these are right. the are already compromised. Yeah. So they're kind of playing with those numbers. And they even issued, you know, saying that if they weren't sure, go ahead on their death certificates to just put that it was COVID, which is oh so my. it that to me, when I read that, I was just like, OK, what are we doing here? Well, this I wondered good. about that. That's exactly right. what I wondered about. I wondered whether they're attaching a lot of deaths that aren't necessarily related. But I mean, the point is, is that we do need to to uh, prevent the, the virus. Uh, they say the numbers are coming down. That's what uh, the president's been telling us, that things are looking good. But that, you know, right here in Sarasota, what they've extended it to uh, the guidelines through the end of the month now at this point and so i kind of want to i've got i got some questions here folks hang on we'll get to your right. questions i promise that we will but 
I want to know you, you you've got a wellness center right here Main Street uh, Sarasota Florida people aren't walking around anymore but you've taken measures I've been down there because I was down there the other day and it was mm -hmm. like a ghost town and but I know that you've taken measures um, that uh, are different now because we've all had to adapt to this. And I wanted you to share the measures that you're taking with your business as a business owner, the things that you're doing to comply with the guidelines and then prevent this virus and, and then pr protect your workers as well as the potential uh, patients that are coming through that door. Yes, because we, we have our doors open, but I mean, we encourage people like stay at home, protect yourself, because just like with any sickness, you don't want to go out and infect anybody because you can be a carrier. Someone could test positive for COVID-19, but be asymptomatic, meaning they have no symptoms. And those are the kinds of people you want to stay away from. Like I'm that kind of person you want to stay away from. I'm asymptomatic, <laughs> right? My body has the tools to naturally get rid of the viral overload. And a lot of my colleagues are the same way. And a lot of, you know, uh, some of these health gurus that are out there, fitness nuts, nutritional nuts, you know, wellness practitioners, functional integrative doctors. But it's that's why I'm encouraging people, number one, always wear a mask. Don't be silly. Like if you were going in, into a, you know, a different type of plague that was out there, Ebola or something, I don't know, right? <laughs> right. You would want to be completely, you know, masked. You want to protect mm -hmm. yourself. Get a KN95 mask, which is a knockoff version of the N95 masks. They're virtually identical. The N95s are American, and then the KN95 masks are European. So I do encourage people to come in. I do sell those. I, I, they go fat, really, really fast. But if you go Google KN95 masks, you will find KN95. that there are some companies that sell them. Um, you can order straight from my website as well. But to protect yourself, how do you prevent any viral infections? That goes for everything, whether it's herpes zoster or herpes simplex. You know, mm -hmm. viruses all act very similarly. Its end game is to attack your body, to attack your immune cells. Um, and it, it causes this cytokine storm. So it's just massive amounts of inflammation that is going in and wreaking havoc on your lungs, on your respiratory system, and your and your sinuses, your cavities. I saw a uh, a question pop up. I missed it. It was way too fast. Yeah. No. Uh, okay. That's fine. So just before we go much further, I did get a message, and I'm going to go ahead and do this because some people were with us. I'm sure they bounced out for a minute, and hopefully they're coming back now. I told them they knew that you were coming. I just wanted to say a few things about you, though. I am going to back this up for a half a second. So that those that are just coming in, and please do share this video out. We want as many people to hear this because there's going to be a lot of information in this that you can use and, and that you can share with your friends and your family and the groups that you belong to. Absolutely. Um, and so Dr. Jenny is uh, a clinical research associate, and she is the owner and CEO of Age Vital, which is a health and wellness uh, center right down here in Sarasota, Florida. Um, she just recently, uh, last year, was uh, selected as the top naturopathic doctor of the year with respect to stem cell research and the cannabinoid therapy by the international. Okay. So my phone did something weird. <laughs> okay. Yes. <laughs> so there it went. It just was like in front of me and then it just disappeared. No, that was I, a, I swear yeah. I love technology. So the point is, is this, folks. She's an expert in her field. She is a naturopath. She's uh, a nutritionist and she's a chemist. And she compounds her own products right here in Sarasota. Okay. Um, very doctors bring her in so that you can educate the doctors. And so I'm honored that you're here and that you're sharing this information. Now the question, I'll go back to that question. Where was it? Um, now we're getting some more questions. Okay. Um, it was from Randy yeah. Smith. Okay. And he's asking about wearing masks in public. A must do, do you think? Oh, absolutely. That was the question I was in the middle of asking. Like, for example, I was watching Ellen DeGeneres and she had mm -hmm. pink as a guest. The pink got COVID okay. and she had said, you know, I'm as fit as a fiddle. And here I, I got COVID. And I said, well, the fact that you got COVID shows that you weren't fit as a fiddle. So there were some other underlying issues in there. So she 
probably wasn't wearing her protective gear and her whole family got it right because uh, people that are fit as fiddles they have the tools the body has the tools to take from and if the body doesn't have enough zinc or vitamin c or hydrochloroquinone uh, within the body which you can get from tonic water by the way this Plaquenil, yep. this prescription that doctors are sending me to my pharmacy to fill, you can get tonic water. Tonic water converts into, you know, that actual pill. So that's a natural source is, of. Is of that, that the quinine? Right is that the quinine? Yeah, in the it? quinine. It's, the same, it's in the same family. Yes. Mm -hmm. okay. So that's something simple where people can go and buy tonic water and drink that, and that's antiviral. Uh, but you want to make sure that the body's reserves, because a lot of these nutrients are fat soluble, meaning that they store in our fat. Just like probiotics store in our intestines, in our large intestines and our small intestines. So if our body isn't properly fueled, if we're going on just a quarter of a tank of gas and we don't have a full tank of gas, it's not going to run the same. Or if we're running on a full tank of gas and not have enough oil, right, the body's not going to run the same. So I'm using this car analogy because I think consumers will relate to that. Um, and I'm always pumping my children full of probiotics every night every morning when i wake up wake up i give them a tablespoon of local organic honey honey's antiviral as well it's antimicrobial it's antibacterial it's antiviral so loading up on raw organic honey that will help keep your immune system because of all of those antioxidants all of those uh, uh, good immune fighting properties that's in the honey is a perfect addition to uh, your coffee, your tea, or just taking it in a tablespoon. Like my five-year-old's like, I need my medicine, mommy. You know, I give her a little tablespoon of honey and she loves it. <laughs> oh yeah, that's great. <laughs> that's great medicine. Wounds, too. You can watch your wounds heal with honey, like really fast. I put a little bit of organic honey on a wound. If they scratch themselves, I put a Band-Aid over it. And then a couple days wow. later, it's like nothing ever happened to their little arm or their little on what, their elbow so what's so, the honey zinc, got what's the honey got that's so powerful here and i just had no i mean i i like honey well i like sweet stuff period but um and i shouldn't i know i shouldn't be eating it <laughs> i know what, the honey? Okay. <laughs> no sweet <laughs> stuff that I, I wish it was honey all the time but i do you like to have honey really with my COVID, though and for cold because it's yeah. loaded with uh, ascorbic acid. So vitamin okay, C, yeah. it's loaded with panathenic acid, um, mm -hmm. which is a, uh, a one of the Bs as well, niacin, riboflavin. It's got all of the B complex. And what are the B complexes uh, role within our physiology? Within our physiology, the B complex helps nourish our red blood cells. So we need all those B complexes to nourish our red blood cells. And when you're sick and you have a fever and you're throwing up and you feel nauseous, and you have this cytokine storm that you know hits you, and that cytokine storm is when your your body reacts. Mm -hmm. It reacts to this. Um, it releases, you know, in the blood really qu quickly when you have your immune system is severely overactivated too fast, too quickly, and you get this response where large amounts of of these cytokines get released, and it's trying to figure out how to get rid of um, the inflammation. Like, where's the source? Where's the inflammation? Mm -hmm. So. Honey has all of the B complexes. Uh, it has vitamin C, it has magnesium, it's got copper, it's got iron, it's got potassium, and it's got zinc. So it's got everything in there that you need to fight off viruses and uh, bacterial infections. So I mean, this that's is so awesome. Mankind, honey. And what do we just, do? We're destroying our honeybees in this world, right? <laughs> There's a honeybee shortage, I understand. Yes, there is. I was just talking to somebody about, you know, it's like I'm thinking of getting my own honeybee, you know, container and growing yeah, my right, own yeah. honey. I said, just wow. in case something happens to, you know, our source of honey. And I'm hearing horror stories of people feeding their bees sugar as opposed to letting them naturally pollinate. And uh -huh. you got to remember these little bees go out and they pollinate everything yes. in nature. If we didn't have a source of that honey within us, I mean, we would have cytokine storms just from allergies, natural allergies from from nature, from trees, from dust, from and a lot of people do look at the uh, the allergies that people have. Look at all the medications that we're pumping our consumers with, with, with Claritin, with Zyrtec, with mm -hmm. um, the Nasacort, with Advair, just all of these toxic medications that are just Band-Aids for boo-boos. They have a longer list of side effects than they do benefits. And it doesn't get to the root cause of the problem. When someone has an allergy, that's the first thing I do is I start putting them on a regimen and I'll put it in their patient chart saying, okay, you are going to take a tablespoon of honey 
in the morning and a tablespoon before you go to bed. And you're going to start taking your probiotics, getting all that good bacteria back in your gut, replenishing your immune system. And yeah, I love zinc and vitamin C naturally. And naturally, right. And so that's what I kind of wanted to talk about as well. One of the questions that I was thinking of asking you is, is okay, there's a lot of over-the-counter stuff. And now we're talking about, okay, get honey. Um, obviously, probably organic honey would be the best, would it not? Yes, sir. Okay. Mm -hmm. And and so because there's no other chemicals and stuff added necessarily to it. Now, I wanted to ask about the over the counter type of supplements that you can get versus the supplements that you're compounding there and that you come up with and that, that, that you're selling as well. We have them available. She's got them in uh, her website as well as I've got some of these uh, in mine on my e-commerce store as well. What's mm -hmm. the difference? with yours i want you to point out why should they not because i think people are driven by price mm. oh this is really oh I, this is great deal but they don't necessarily look at what it's all got and what you know what's in that and i so what's the difference here why should we be spending more money which i think is like an insurance policy personally mm -hmm. for your health and your life for the good stuff like you manufacture versus mm. these over-the-counter things and really, it's really not that much more expensive. And sometimes it's less expensive, Stephen. So, mm -hmm. I mean, I used to walk into GNC or a uh, vitamin store, like a nutritional frontier store somewhere. But GNCs are very popular here in Florida. Well, mm -hmm. I walk in and I'm looking at their amino acid supplement and it's not regulated. And there's only nine amino acids in there, but it's not regulated. So then I'm, I'm thinking, OK. Uh, what's on the label doesn't necessarily mean what's actually in there. So when you're looking for vitamin supplements, you want to look for that CGMP or GMP logo. Like it's an actual certification that you have to have that shows that you're a facility that's regulated by the FDA, whether you're making crappy supplements with synthetic, you know, vitamins and nutrients, or you're making bio natural supplements. I make bio natural substances, meaning it's identical to what the body produces. It's identical to what I would test you for. So if yeah. I was going to test you for B12 deficiency, I would give you hydroxycobalamin or methylcobalamin. And you go to your, you know, your grocery store. All of them are guilty. They all carry it because none of them really know. You can go to Publix and Target and CVS and Walgreens and get cyanide B12 pills in chewable and spray form. But it, it literally says cyanide in the name. It says cyanocobalamin, cyanocobalamin. Right. Yeah. I'm thinking, oh, my gosh, how many people are taking cyanide pills to try to get, to get rid of their anemia? or get energy and then you exactly. go to some doctor's office that still give you cyanide injections <laughs> ex ex <laughs> exactly they're not getting better and it's so frustrating to me i'm going no <laughs> and, and it's interesting that you bring that up because i'm i've been aware of cyanocides for for quite a while because i mean uh -huh. i'm in i'm in the coatings business right mm -hmm. and i know when i was comparing our product which our product is actually safe and non-toxic uh, porcelain glaze versus these uh, others that are like polyeth poly uh, yeah polyelomer or polyethylene um, maybe I've got the wrong name anyways I'm having a brain fade point is this um, this stuff is car paint it's got cyanocides in it and so just breathing the fumes I'm sure of these coatings or things compounds that have cyanide in it, it, it that's cancer causing <laughs> you know it will <laughs> right it's like, dang. yeah you're taking so, a supplement to try to get rid of your cancer and you're like have a little bit more inflammation let's increase your cytokine storm by just another 10 percent you know <laughs> bring you a little bit closer to death <laughs> I mean, that's how, how bad it really is yeah, it, it really is bad. And, and so that's why I wanted you to share because all of your products are, are natural and they're organic and and there, there's no poison. Non-GMO is the big one. Hmm? Is the big one. GMO, when right. I, when I'm looking for supplements or I uh, educate my customers and even my doctors that are going into functional health care saying, OK, I'm sick of tired of being part of this allopathic caterpillar line where all I'm doing is just seeing 150 patients a day and I'm giving them a pink pill, a purple pill, a yellow pill. And then they come back six weeks later and I'm giving another pill to counterbalance the negative adverse reactions of this 
pill that I originally gave them for their acid mm -hmm. reflux when all they really needed was probiotics. Probiotics. Of vinegar, or well, right? <laughs> yes, exactly. Now, I want to just for a half a second. Let's go back. Angela Patton has a question about: uh, Is it a must to get local honey, or is that a fact or a myth? Well, when you, like in Florida, I mean, Florida's got the same type of uh, uh, environmental: the trees, the bushes, the 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 flowers. The flora is all pretty similar. You know, you're going right. to go somewhere like New Hampshire, the flora is going to be completely different. So, yes, you want to make sure, like, if you're in New Hampshire, not getting Florida honey, will it be beneficial for you? Yes, but you want to eat honey that is being produced in the area that is um, indigenous, you know, to you, the, the that's pollinating. Sure. The types of trees, the types of flowers. So, yeah, it is, it is important. And then Christine is asking about how much honey should you have a day? I usually recommend a tablespoon of honey a day. Table tablespoon of honey a day. And That's you're giving your additional, but if you're adding additional to if you have six cups of tea a day and then you're putting it as a sweetener, it's not gonna hurt you. Right. Right. If anything, just, it's gonna go and store, like I said, those nutrients that are in there are fat soluble, just like C B D is fat soluble. Right stores right. in your fat deposits and that's when you go and you're feeding your your body's food reserve so you're making sure that you're taking that's what prevention's all about is making sure you're prepared so when you do get attacked by a man-made drug a man-made virus like covid right <laughs> well and uh, your body's let me just... of how to protect itself I now love let me honey. Ask you, <laughs> honey is good. Yes. And she, um, she loves it as well. I love honey too. I just, it I mean, I just had insulin, <laughs> so diabetics can take it. It won't spike your, your glucose. So if you're hypoglycemic, if you're hyperglycemic and if you're a diabetic, you have something that tastes sweet and it won't mess with your glucose. How awesome is that? <laughs> so like get rid of the brown sugar, get oh, rid of awesome. the pink sugar, the pink oh, packets, the yellow packets, the I mean all of those packets. I mean it's like Alzheimer's, diabetes, obesity, and dementia. It's like yay, you know. <laughs> I love I, I kind of like brown sugar and so but I know that the longer I hang around you, the healthier I'm just gonna get. That's the bottom you know, line. <laughs> amazing. I am yes. already healthier. I know that I am. <laughs> I know I that I already can tell. <laughs> <laughs> Good. A little smile. <laughs> All right. So yeah, that's awesome. And if I do feel better, and, and mm -hmm. I just got to tell you, uh, everybody, because I've been going and seeing Dr. Jenny, and I've, I've gotten the products, and I'm taking them here at home on a daily basis, I've noticed a difference. I mean, I'm feeling better. Um, I'm waking up uh in a pretty good mood too as well uh and i'm not having issues with my stomach i'll tell you what i didn't miss the other day on the pro probiotic because she had given me some prescription probiotics because gut health is apparently and i'm learning this so important to our overall health and even talking with my brother the other day he said well gosh when you have a stomach ache you notice how terrible you feel mm -hmm. but then you fix it and you feel so much better that's kind of the simple yeah, way. Yeah, and you want to feel that bloating, yeah. right? <laughs> and, you know, I mean, I'll give another example because in the past I have had issues, you know, with, with stomach acid. And when I and I don't know, you're probably going to hate me for this, but I'm, I'm not doing it lately because I don't have to, right? Because I'm taking the probiotic. Yeah. But um, <laughs> I take the Tums and it's like amazingly, I mean, you go from just really bad situation and take the Tums and it just, you know, settles that gas, and I don't know whether those are good or bad or indifferent. Actually, health wise, you can answer so it's that. Not in a good. And if you're if you're having to take those, we got to get you on some L glutamine powder. Okay, I and haven't been lately. Yeah, and that's good. And L glutamine powder is a lifesaver for people that have leaky gut syndrome, that have um, diarrhea, that have constipation, and just their bowels. But they L glutamine powder is so amazing for people that have that heavy bloat feeling i've even seen skinny people that have this just pot belly it's you know and it looks so i'm like please can i help you i know how to get rid of that you're bloated and your back probably hurts because your body's just right. not processing um your foods correctly and l-glutamine powder is so inexpensive 
and you could just add a, a half a teaspoon to uh, two teaspoons of that into your water and drink it in the morning. But that helps uh, um, to heal leaky gut. It also helps to fuel enterocytes and uh, colonocytes, which is, you know, that's specifically how it works. It works on those enterocytes and colonocytes um, to, because low levels of glutamine shows, you know, inflammation and it gets rid of those specific uh, inflammatory markers. In Excuse me. But uh, children with diarrhea, I get, I gave my children, my goodness, because uh, you're figuring it out as a mom, trying to figure mm -hmm. out what their bodies, you know, what they like, what they don't like and right. what reactions they have. And I've got so. a vitamin water. <laughs> yeah, I vitamin like water is not bad. It's got, it's got a lot of sugar in it, but if you have the no tool in your like body, <laughs> Stephen, to get rid of that, then you're fine, right? Just make take make sure you take exactly. a product be before bed. <laughs> um, right, I've got them right in the fridge. Yeah, um, and and I really haven't had problems with with the indigestion like I used to have, and so I mean that's mm -hmm. a big deal. I'm getting healthier. It's clear that what she, you know, what you recommended for me is working. Um, I'm going to go back to the honey thing. We've got a lot of honey is a big deal now, right? I love honey. I was going to say I had it on my toast with the peanut butter the other day. No butter, just the peanut butter and the honey. I love it. Um, so, Sandy, <laughs> so Sandy says, can you combine honey with anything or is it just honey? Or can you suggest how to eat a honeycomb? Well, that's oh. wax. Yeah, so, you can put honey on everything. Put it on your toast. I replace it instead of syrup on my waffles. I put it on my French toast. It's so delicious. My children love it. I'm not kidding. I have a gallon at a time of honey. I'll grab it from my pantry just so you don't think I'm full of caca. No, oh. I bet you this is the truth here. Of course. I love honey, but I've just got that little bear, right? The little tiny bear thing. <laughs> See how I stock? <laughs> wow. Yeah, this is my gallon of honey. And Florida I honey. Yeah, Florida honey. I buy it right here at Detweiler's. And like in Detweiler's. Florida, you can go to Whole Foods, but Detweiler's is usually a lot more inexpensive for Trader Joe's. You can get uh -huh. the big, huge gallons. I buy gallons at a time because I'll put it in, in instead of using syrup, like I said, in my on my waffles or right. on my toast, I use honey. And I'll put a lot of butter. Mm -hmm. Butter is amazing for you, contrary to popular belief. You want those good fats. Butter has the good fats that feeds your brain. A lot of people walk around like doo -doo -doo because they're not feeding their brain. It's like yeah. you want fats from butter. You want the fats from um, the organic whole milk. You want the fats from avocados and from the nuts. This is why a lot of our learning disorders in this country, specifically why children, if you see where we measure in the entire world with our education system, the United States should be number one. Yeah. But no. our foods are so toxic. Our poor little minds aren't being fed the proper nutrition for the brain, for our brains to function. And our brain wants fat and amino acids. So that's butter, not margarine. Yeah, butter, actual butter. Yeah, yep. Right. And That's what I was trying to say to everybody, not the margarine. <laughs> if you're going to eat butter. bread, you have to put butter on it. If you don't put butter it. on it, then you get gassy and you get bloated right. because it's now, an instant, you know, uh, like sugar rush. And then your body yeah. stores it. So when you're putting butter on it, you're, you're making it into, um, you're slowing down the digestive process of it. So now it's a sustained energy as opposed to instant energy. That's the difference between carbohydrates and proteins. Yes, raw honey, Kimberly. Yes, raw honey. Yes. Yep. Okay. Local so that's, that is that is the answer about the honey. So it's great stuff. Everybody, you can get it pretty cheap too. Just like she said, I don't know. Everybody has some kind of farmers market, but that's what Detweiler's is around here. It's really yeah, an awesome, awesome store. Here in Sarasota, I miss our Saturday farmers market. Exactly. Oh, good. Now all the local farmers <laughs> don't meet up on Saturdays anymore, and so we're having to go to the grocery store and pay, you know, two to four times the price that the local farmers were charging. Right? Yes, butter yes. Is amazing for your body. Yes, and it, absolutely. It, it helps with feeding your brain. You'll start to notice you're going to start losing weight. Believe it or not, because you have good fats and you have bad fats. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, butter is good fat. That's the kind of fat that your brain wants and it will use for energy and it will store um, neurologically. Anytime I eat any type of bread, even crackers, I will put butter on it in a little bit of honey. <laughs> I love crackers. So you're, you're slowing down, you know, you're making it into a sustained release food for energy as opposed to a quick instant gratification. So like proteins, proteins, uh, like when you're eating a piece of steak, that's a slow sustained food. Your body will use that protein from uh, from chicken or turkey or whatever, whatever your favorite meat is, except for pork. I don't really recommend eating pork. But that's bad. So over 100 viruses right. come from pork. <laughs> viruses from pork. And so that's probably as well why they tell you to cook it well done. Right. Yeah. Right. Occasionally, then, Dr. Jenny, well, you know, if someone has it, but I have to take a lot of microbial enzymes just to make sure because they do, you know, they, it, there's parasites in mm -hmm. pork and their okay. digestive system is so different than, you know, other animals. I mean, it takes oh. them over 24 hours to digest their foods. Okay. So that becomes toxic within yeah. their skin. And, very interesting. See, we're learning all kinds of stuff. I told you that we were going to learn all kinds of great stuff today. <laughs> we're all over the place today, Stephen. I'll tell you what. Yeah, we yeah. are all over the place. There has been no no flow on this tonight necessarily. <laughs> <laughs> but that's okay. I mean, I got off to a rough start anyways, but it's like it, it wasn't as bad as the other day when I'm talking to myself and doing my live broadcast and realize it wasn't even going. I mean, come on. So this is this is good compared. I yeah. would have to say that. <laughs> yeah. So I, I tell let's get let's get into I, I know that everybody out there is concerned. We're all concerned about the coronavirus, okay? I uh, will bring it back to that. I'm gonna talk, we're gonna talk about coronavirus and we're gonna talk about what you can do to, you know, prevent the coronavirus to boost your immune system, okay? Um, so you have taken some some measures, let's just start with that. So you as a business owner have taken some measures and, and how are you dealing with it differently as a business owner? You, you put in, some some uh, specific measures when people walk into the store you're taking their temperature wearing masks and um trying to prevent obviously the spread this is where the masks come in so we talked earlier you really yeah, highly prevent, not, not bring fear i don't operate in the spirit of fear when right. we know you know that you can combat it yes and it's super uh, simple to combat I, the amount, I, I think I spent about two hours answering some of my social media questions today with people that I know that have, you know, caught it and they're on day four, day five and day eight. And they're just miserable when they're posting, you know, and I'm just like, you don't have to suffer. I was like, let me send you my viral kit of injections. The injections are definitely because you don't have to bypass the digestive system and it goes instantly into your blood. Um, when you have the injections of zinc and vitamin D and glutathione, these are all antioxidants and they're all antivirals. Zinc stops the replication of the virus. Uh, silver, the, the, the probiotic silver, I use a company, I carry their product. It's one of the products that's in my store that mm -hmm. I buy from Natural Immunogenics. It's, they're probably the leaders in in their silver biotics. I mean, silver kills viruses. And you think about the amount of silver we have in our body. Yes. And it's not that expensive. I, I want to say like a 16 ounce is $99 and a four, four ounce or six ounce. I'll have to look on my website, which one, right. which one we carries, what other supplements. Are well, I've, I, I've used um, <laughs> silver oxide before on like cuts and stuff like that. And I noticed that mm -hmm. it would heal up like really super quick as a result of that. Of course. Yeah. Really good. It starves, it. it starves the virus from, from replicating. It stops it right in its tracks. You're starving it from its oxygen supply. You're starving it from eating any of your reserves or nutrients. Right. Because that's what happens. Bacterial, fungal, viral infections. What they're gonna, what it's going to do? It it feeds off of you. Yeah. That's why you're so weak, and it destroys your red blood cells. Can you imagine millions of your red blood cells being attacked and dying off and 
exploding just within a matter of hours. This is why people are hospitalized because it's so aggressive and it's so fast when it attacks you. So you have to flush it out you, with the antivirals. You have to stop it at its core to make sure that it doesn't implant within, you know, your DNA and get stuck in there. Then some people are 30 days to 40 days just recovering. Wow. And then that's if so, they don't get a secondary infection in the meantime, secondary meaning pneumonia or the right. fibrous lungs. And that's super hard to reverse when it, when it attacks your lungs. So. Uh, and that's what I wondered too. Is is that this is a very fast acting virus? I mean, so how long is it from the time that say you catch the virus? I, they're saying t twelve or fourteen days, but once you start coming down with some symptoms, how rapidly does it progress? Oh, I well, it's in your system, and like like different cold, different viruses um, don't come about for days. But with COVID-19, I, I could have been exposed. Let's talk about hypotheticals here 14 days ago mm -hmm. and then just now be experiencing the lethargy, the tiredness, that weakness. Like I'm very in tune with my body. I mm -hmm. know if I'm coming down with something, I can feel it. I feel tired. I feel like this blanket of just like, what's wrong with me? You know, almost out of breath or I have to go and take a nap. Your body's saying, Oh, you got to go to sleep. You know, you got to rest because your body's telling you, okay, you got to slow down. We got to figure out what's wrong. We got to get rid of the cytokine storm. There's inflammation somewhere. So take a nap. And when you're napping, that's why melatonin works for the COVID virus, right? Because melatonin lowers your body temperature. This is why melatonin is a better option than acetaminophen or ibuprofen to get rid of fevers. And these are all studies you can find. I'll send you the link if you want. Uh, Stephen, you can put it on your website. All the studies. You can look at PubMed. Melatonin, getting rid of fevers. It's like, why aren't we giving the consumers melatonin as opposed to ibuprofen and all these other NSAIDs? And NSAIDs are so bad for you. You get, I, and I was an abuser of NSAIDs in my younger years when I was in my early 20s. Mm -hmm. I got massive migraines and headaches, and that's what that. I would take because that's what the doctor told me to take, right? right? right. You get a migraine, and take some ibuprofen, and eventually the ibuprofen stopped working, and they give you something heavier for it. They give you other other medications for it, but what did that ibuprofen end up doing to my stomach? It gave me ulcers. I couldn't even drink water without yeah. having debilitating pains in my stomach. I couldn't even eat food without feeling like, I mean, I was literally holding my stomach going, oh. when I ate, it hurt so bad to eat. Wow. And there I was 21 years old, mm. and I used to take a thousand milligrams of ibuprofen because I would get headaches that were caused by what? The foods I was eating. All the mm. junk food, the processed foods with all of the fillers, the dyes, the preservatives, the excipients, all the nonsense that's carcinogenic. I was like, oh my gosh, I'm going to be like a 80 year old woman with 15 different meds. And I'm 21. Holy moly. I knew there had to be a different answer. And there it is. You know, I could have taken melatonin for migraines. I could have taken B12 for migraines. And when my children get a temperature, those temperatures don't last more than 24 hours with me. Melatonin, 50 milligrams for children spread out in the course of, you know, three doses a day. Right. And then 100 milligrams for adults spread out with three courses in a day. And you give it, I make a melatonin spray. I even make a melatonin topical cream. I don't have any makeup on. And I put my topical melatonin cream with probiotics on my face, gets rid of wrinkles. So oh, I could use that. I think I got a couple of wrinkles. Yeah. <laughs> Who doesn't want to get rid of wrinkles? <laughs> I'm happy the way I am. It doesn't matter. You're beautiful. <laughs> just the way you are, Steven. It's distinguished, isn't it? <laughs> it's all that and the gray hair now. <laughs> we ourselves for you men anyways, right? <laughs> um, In nature, so, the male <laughs> birds are the most gorgeous anyways. Uh, Come thank on. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um, I got a question, though. Um, we'll get to another question here in just a minute. Um, but I wanted to ask this. Um, okay. People, now we've been taking some questions here, and, and I really enjoy this because uh, Dr. Jenny shares a lot of uh, fabulous information for us. Okay. It's like going to the doctor and not having to pay for it in the show. It really is. But I'll tell you what, 
Dr. Jenny does have a phone line, and you can reach out. If you've got some serious things going on, I want you to tell us about that, Dr. Jenny. You've got a phone line. People can call in, and they can get some medical advice, correct? Yes, toll-free, 888-388-7237. That's the toll-free number. And the local number um, is 941-388. Oh, my goodness. See, I don't ever call myself. I have to look that up. And I don't I have it right here. Number. Uh, <laughs> you know, that's okay, but it is it is on your website as well. Yep, Agevital.com. Agevital.com. Mm -hmm. And and so this is for someone that, that has some situations that they really want to necessarily spend some time talking to a doctor. And so you have that ability to be able to to reach out. Um, I know that um we are planning to have that number on our website. I don't have it on yet. We're working on getting that. We're going to be devoting some Zero space. 800. Hmm? Do that. That's yeah. three, 941-388-0800. 0800. Mm -hmm. I know that number. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, it's the end of the day. We'll forgive ourselves for not remembering it. <laughs> exactly. And my day, I know, I don't know what time you get up, but my days start pretty early. <laughs> Mine do too. I have four children. Mm -hmm. exactly. I know. <laughs> One of those days I got you out of You are bed. super mom, I'm sure. Yes, I'm there. <laughs> and I still make your show. <laughs> <laughs> and you look beautiful and you're, you know, gosh, uh, I tell you what, we just appreciate you so very much. Um, okay. Yeah. Now, let me go to, uh, let's just, so Mona says that she drinks water and lemon with apple cider and vinegar. I want to ask you about that vinegar. That's to help settle the stomach. Was that what you were talking about? Oh, no. yes. yes. Vinegar yeah. is a great replacement to antiacids because antiacids means it's getting rid of the acid in your body. And like we have good fats and we have bad fats, we have good acid and we have bad acid. So your body needs acid. But it needs the good the good type of acid, like coffee acid is bad for you. So, and that's, right. that's my advice. I drink lots of coffee. I was I born with an espresso bean in my mouth. I'm part yeah. Italian and I'm Latina. So I have to have my coffee. So I put butter in my coffee to alkaline it. And then if I'm drinking, uh, if I'm somewhere and I don't have access to butter, I make sure that I replenish the good acid in my gut before I go to sleep by putting it in a cup of water. You can put it in the whole entire thing of water, but it's not necessary. But you put a teaspoon of it in your in your water and you're mm -hmm. alkalining, you're increasing the pH in your stomach to make sure that you have that good acid. And that good acid is essential for weight loss and to not have stomach pains and for good uh, bowel movements. Because it feeds, you know, it helps with uh, all that good uh, good gut flora, the probiotics. Excellent. Excellent advice. And like Christine is wondering about celery juice. I did see the question in there earlier. It got kind of buried in the questions. But what about celery juice? What do you think? Is that healthy for you? It will, and what does it do? Okay, celery juice. I've seen a lot of people use celery juice for uh, weight loss, right? They're using it as a oh. cleanse. It is a phenomenal cleanser because, it, believe it or not, cel celery juice has one of the highest contents of vitamin C of anything out there also has folate, B6, um, vitamin K, and uh, potassium. So it will make you have the runs. But if you do a cleanse for three days, I wouldn't recommend doing more than three days of a celery cleanse because you will. <laughs> Everything exits out rapidly, but it is good for you. So but no more than three days. I've seen seven days, and that's just – why would you want to do that when you if, if your body it's everything's about homeostasis homeostasis means it's the perfect harmony where everything's in alignment and if you if you do realize okay I'm, I'm going to do a food desensitizing diet because you're having too many allergies or you're breaking out and you're tired all the time and you feel bloated a three-day cleanse is really good because now you're eliminating everything and then your body is like starting from ground zero it's like pushing that original manufacturer reset button then you can work on top of that and start taking supplements and doing weekly cleanses so like I'm, I think I've told you, Stephen, I'm a flexitarian. And what that means is I'm mm. flexible with my diet. So 90% mm. of the time I eat pescatarian and then 10% of the time I'm cheating. 
And my cheats are on the weekends. I usually cheat on Saturdays. That's my Sabbath with my children where I get to rest. I turn off my telephone and we're cheating on bad foods. We eat pizza, we eat fried chicken, we eat waffles, we eat French toast, we eat candy. And we go to Sunday and then whew, we reset. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but we have one day a week where we look forward to having our vices and we get to overload. And anybody can do that because then you know that you're not denying yourself. So that's flexitarians don't deny themselves because in essence, everything is bad for you. Everything causes oxidative stress. So it's just a matter of keeping yourself balanced out. So a flexitarian is a person that that has a, a good healthy diet mm -hmm. but yet that they'll, they'll they'll eat some things that they shouldn't necessarily eat but then they you it sounds like you're planning it okay we plan i yeah. plan my eats one day a week sometimes i'll add an extra evening you know there's none of that going on right now because nothing's open <laughs> exactly <laughs> or who wants, i don't enjoy a glass of wine by myself <laughs> <laughs> right exactly <laughs> yes i can appreciate that yeah it, it is an adaptation to, yeah. to what's going on here um and what i want our viewers to know is is that that dr jenny is here for us actually uh to help us get healthy uh, i really appreciate that she takes time to come and join us um we're, we're trying to make this a regular thing about once maybe a month or something like that mm -hmm. and we've got some things coming up on the website um we're going to devote some space there as well for her because she's got great information we want to help you get strong healthy of course fight off this virus um and i would say i'd like you to just tell us quickly the couple things that we should be doing to do our best to prevent coming down with the virus okay my top supplements all right, number one, always wear a mask when you're out because you're protecting yourself and you're protecting others. This is great. If everyone was following that, then no one would get contaminated, right? And it would take its course. But not everyone's following that. So then make sure that you're armed, fully armed with zinc, with vitamin mm -hmm. C, with vitamin D, um, and the silver. Those are my top four. And then I have other supplements, you know, below that, like the probiotics um, and the N-acetylcysteine. And those I recommend for people that have already um are starting to feel sick and they need that extra support because the n-acetylcysteine the NAC is what i call it n-a-c i have it on my website that get that helps you with your lung gets rid of all the mucus in your lungs so if someone's already to the phlegm phase stage that helps get all of that phlegm and mucus out of your sinuses and in your chest it's a natural decongestant better than Sudafed because it's god's Sudafed. he put it on the planet for us to be able to combat uh congestion sinus congestion and Excellent. chest congestion. Excellent mm -hmm. advice. Do you have take, any more questions? Like yeah, email I'm gonna, me directly. Okay. Yes, exactly. at agevital.com, J E N N Y at agevital.com. And I'm usually pretty prompt in answering my emails. Um, and my staff also sees my emails too. So if they see questions about supplements, I have pharmacists that'll grab and answer the questions. That's awesome. So if you have a question, make sure that you reach out to Dr. Jenny at uh, Jenny at agevital.com. And mm -hmm. um, any final thoughts for our viewers here, Dr. Jenny? Be healthy. Health is wealth. You know, you only have one body. Treat it like a temple because it is a temple and you're worth it. So I think you're worth it. And sometimes I think um, the consumer needs a little bit of a push to understand. You know, if you're if you have some bad habits, just learn how to counterbalance those bad habits by taking good supplements. The more bad habits you have, the more supplements I'm going to recommend for you to cleanse. <laughs> exactly. Um, I do want to ask that real quickly then, too, because what you do is, is that you actually when you're going to get specific with someone, you're taking you know, either a swab or blood to mm -hmm. test their blood to determine what's going to be best for them, correct? Yeah, I do blood work. I do saliva testing. I even do live blood cell analysis in-house. But yeah, I do uh, blood or saliva just to check mm -hmm. to see what someone's deficient in. It's mm -hmm. like taking your car to an engineer and you're going in for your tune-up. 
So I'm the body engineer and I go in and I do all the inspections and well, no wonder you're sputtering or no wonder you have a leak. <laughs> <laughs> and no that's wonder so your, excellent. your signs, all your little warning signs have popped up. Look at you're running on empty. <laughs> <laughs> Well, we are so glad that you are here and that you're a resource for us to be able to strengthen our mind, body, and soul. Because I know that that you're spiritual as well, and it's all about taking. If we're if we're healthy from from a physical standpoint, we're going to be healthy from a mental standpoint as well. And wow. that's so yeah, it's so beautiful. And so we appreciate everybody that's taken time to come and join us this evening. I apologize for that rough start. It's all good. These things happen, but you know what? We've learned a whole lot of stuff tonight. We want to thank you. Remember to share this video out. Tell your friends. There's so much information in here. Watch the replay and join us when we come back next time. I'll be back tomorrow morning. I'll be back in the morning. We're talking about gratitude tomorrow. It's thankful oh, Thursday. Yes, <laughs> we have much to be thankful for. <laughs> exactly. So much to be thankful for. And I know that people might have a difficult time thinking, what can I be grateful for right now? Well, there's a lot of stuff. And we'll be talking about that tomorrow, about quarter to seven Eastern Standard Time. Join me for welcoming in a brand new day. And thank you for joining us to meet the dynamic Dr. Jenny Wilkins this evening. We hope that you have uh, learned a lot. We appreciate you uh, taking time to join us this evening. Do feel free to reach out to either one of us. You can reach Dr. Jenny at Jenny at agevital.com and okay. myself. Yeah, myself yep. at, at admin admin at lwnfoundation.org. So thank you so very much, folks. We hope that you have a great evening. I'll let you have the last words there, Dr. Jenny. Yep. And it's Jenny, J-E-N-N-Y at agevital.com. No doctor at, at the beginning. I used Did to, I? yep, Jenny. I just do Jenny. They can, they can call me Dr. Jenny, but my email is actually okay. Jenny at agevital. Yep. There we are. <laughs> Excellent. Right. We'll have look forward. We're looking forward to you coming back. We'll we'll get that set up. Folks, thank you so very much. Have a blessed evening. Take care. Be healthy. That's what we want for you. Enjoy your evening or your morning or afternoon whenever you happen to watch this. Thanks for coming in and have a good evening. We'll see you soon. Bye, Bye for now. <laughs> Bye.